Hello, Cancer. This is you versus them for the 14th through the 20th. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Guys, if you're new, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's see how you guys felt about your relationship in the past. What were your issues? with the relationship you felt like you were doing everything everything like you were carrying all the weight on your shoulders here could be a sash that you're dealing with does not have to be okay let's see what what was their past issue with the relationship here hmm they feel like it was going nowhere like it was going absolutely nowhere wow okay like it was stuck <laughs> like they they almost felt like they were sacrificing themselves just being in the relationship I feel like you were hindering them let's see <clears throat> what you feel is keeping you guys apart mm. I feel like you almost felt tortured here mentally um, I think you know, you felt like this person was coming at you from all directions with maybe accusations. Maybe they were jealous. And it just had you all wound up here. Let's see what is keeping them from you. Hmm. Because they just want to be stubborn. They just want to let things be, basically. Because I feel like, you know, everything is in their hands. Like, if they wanted to fix this, I feel like they could if they really wanted to. But this person's like really kind of lazy and hands off right now, I'm feeling. Okay, guys? I'm sorry to say it, but it's just what I'm getting. They probably, um, I don't know, they probably manipulated this situation a whole lot too is what I'm getting here. Gemini energy. Let's see. It does not have to be a Gemini. I'm just saying that's the energy that is present here. Okay, let's see what's currently going on for you. I feel like you're just trying to feel good again, I think. I think you're trying to move on. You're just trying to leave this behind because, you know, all of this energy of being worried and you know just thinking about stuff and feeling backed into a corner is really not you and so you're just trying to move on from this I feel okay let's see what's currently going on with the other person here oh my oh my oh my I think they are feeling a whole lot of heartache and regret and helplessness is what I'm getting here. They're feeling helpless. I think they feel like you have moved on with someone else. Not just away from them, but with someone else here, okay? Let's see what's influencing um, your situation right now. Hmm. Somebody walked out on you and you felt like um, they were very um, spiteful when they did it. How they did it. They probably said uh, very mean things to you. You feel like they probably cheated on you even. They were heartless, I think, is, is what I'm getting from this. Cold. Let's see what's influencing them right now. They're at a crossroads. They don't know what to do to fix this, I feel. That's why they're hung up. They're stuck. They're not doing anything. They don't know what to do to fix this because um, they know what they've done to you. They know exactly what they've done to you. I feel like they're really trying to... They're trying to manifest out of a bad place with this broken heart because you cannot in this state okay because i really feel like they're wanting to address something with you they don't know how to do it because they're still trying to guard themselves 
and make themselves feel better because they know what they did here. So they are struggling right now. They have it within them, but they need to um, turn this hangman upright and make a move. They need to decide what they want and then go for it is what I'm feeling. And I feel like this person... I don't feel like this is a very good energy. When you guys were together, I don't feel like this was good for you. I really don't. Because regardless of how I look at this with them, either I have the Five of Swords here or I, or I have the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Not good energy at all. Um, I feel like this person was very cold, very hurtful. Said things that, you know, just so it would hurt you is what I'm feeling. Wow. Wow. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. Ooh, stability and happiness. Um, you guys may be entering into a committed relationship here. That may be why they are disappointed and feeling brokenhearted. But, you know, if they did you wrong, then I mean, hey, <laughs> hey, karma is a what? All right. So anyway, moving on. I digress. Let's see what's coming for them. Nine of Swords, more worry. This person probably thinks of you day and night. What they've done, how they can fix this. Will they talk to me? Just kind of like frantic. Shoot, that's hard. And I feel it. Let's see what's blocking you. I don't feel like anything's blocking you for real. Let's see what's blocking you from this connection. Let's see. Hmm. You haven't quite healed this uh, turmoil with this person. And probably because with this energy, you probably haven't even received an explanation. You don't even know why this happened for real. <laughs> you really don't. You know, you're just left to pick up the pieces is what I'm feeling here. And they need to heal as well. They need to heal. They need to realize what they've done and try to, you know, mend this broken heart, come to grips with what they did to contribute because there's three swords here. There's your sword, their sword, and then the reality sword. Okay? So they need to come to grips with what they've done. Let's see what their blockage is. Oh. Hmm. They need to be more emotional. Please don't be cold, aloof, um, neglectful. This this is very kind of narcissistic energy. Um, very hurtful. And I think they, they try to manipulate their way out of situations, into situations. I think their blockage is that they are kind of manipulative. It's what I really feel here. All right. Let's see what the advice is for you guys. I think it is to keep doing what you're doing, gentlemen and ladies. Keep doing what you're doing. Whatever you went through with this person, that cycle has ended. You guys are on a new journey. If you decide to take this person back, then you're entering into another karmic cycle with them. Okay? Now, not saying that it's going to be a horrible thing because if they come back a changed person, then I mean, you know, that's up to you to decide. But you guys have accomplished something here. Okay. You're moving on. Take that healing energy with you forward. Okay. Know when to let somebody in your energy and when to cut it out. All right. Let's see what the advice is for them. Hmm. <laughs> I think they need to actually come towards you. Because some of you may be moving too here. They may need to travel to you. But they need to speak. At least start a conversation. Because this is a start of something here. Yep. The only wand that's here. Action. Everything else is like thinking, thinking, thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. You know, it's like, okay, it's time to do something here. And let's not be manipulative when we do. 
All right, let's see what the outcome is for you guys. I think this is an Aries card, but I think um, they there will be a fire lit under their asses, and they will eventually they will eventually come towards you because they're going to feel like they have no other choice. They cannot manipulate this situation. They cannot manipulate you. Okay? So, my cancer friends, that's what I have for you. And I will speak with you guys soon. Bye.